ladies, athletes, parents, and fans of the Scarab Nation. Thank you for tuning in for the Department Awards portion of the Athletic Banquet. Although we cannot be together tonight as we had hoped to celebrate each other and the fantastic year we've had, it has not diminished the experiences, contributions, and impact you have all had on this great school and your respective programs. This was a unique and memorable year due to the sudden way that it ended. We had such an exciting start to, this, to the school year that I feel a little shortchanged and perhaps even cheated that we were not able to finish as strongly as we began. The saying, play every game like it's your last, certainly has a new meaning now as I wish so badly that our spring athletes could get back out there for one more competition to show the world and our community who we really are and also so we can give our spring senior athletes the send off they truly deserve. Steven Rogers once said, beginnings are usually scary, endings are usually sad, but it's what's in the middle that counts. That's where the memories are made. As we near the end of a school year, the end of your athletic career, or perhaps the end of high school, it's important to remind ourselves of that. As you look back and reflect, your memories will not be comprised of the scoreboard and statistics, but it'll be the little things that you remember. Things that seemed trivial at the time, but now are cherished memories. Nicknames for your teammates, your favorite song to sing in the locker room, the great tan lines you got from soccer shin guards and track jerseys, laying on that cool marble floor in activities for you after a crazy hot cross country practice and not caring at all you're laying on the floor because it just felt so good. The bruise you got in your first game, that stayed all season long because it kept getting hit every single time you played. The teammate you did not know before the season, but connected with, and now you guys chat every day. The teammates that, gil- that still give you a hard time about something foolish you once did. The coach whose voice you can still hear, encouraging you on and pushing you further than you thought you could go. There's entertaining softball chants you'd yell at opposing teams. Track meets and the cross games that were so cold you couldn't feel your hands. That one teammate whose shoes smelled so badly that everybody knew about them. You always remember how cold the, fo- how cold the pool felt when you first jumped in at swim practice. The list could go on and on. Years from now, you'll look back and most likely you will not remember the losses and wins of each season, but you will remember the people that took this journey with you and the memories you made with them. I know I speak for the entire athletic department as well as the faculty and staff at St. Sue Academy when I say thank you for your dedication and commitment this year. Thank you for representing us all so well. You've made us all proud. I have many fond memories from this school year from watching you all play and compete. Those, and those fond memories I will hold close to my heart. This evening, we'll recognize the recipients of several awards. First, we'll recognize our college-bound athletes, followed by the recipients of the Good Shepherd Award, then the Scholar Athlete of the Year Award, the Tri-Sport Athlete Award, and finally, the Megan Whaley Athlete of the Year Award. Thank you. Well, sports fans, one and all, we're going through quite a time in our lives. In fact, the uncertainty of today resembles that announced several years ago by New York Yankee Hall of Fame catcher Yogi Berra. It ain't over till it's over, he said. 103 years ago, in 1917, the United States and the world came into the clutches of a flu pandemic, which brought over 650,000 deaths for the United States. Sports, however, high school, college, and professional continued as best it could to stumble along through those perilous days. No one stayed at home. Players with high fevers participated in games. Some died. Teams played scheduled games as long as they could feel enough healthy players. The show must go on seemed to be the motto of those World War I years. The only disaster in U.S. history that comes anywhere close to impacting sports with the completeness of today's coronavirus was World War II. High school athletics was not bothered, but college and professional ranks were quickly depleted as young men left for the military service. Several hundred colleges canceled their football seasons for the duration. Major League Baseball was so devastated that women were formed into a league of their own that lasted 11 years. The Pittsburgh Steelers and the Philadelphia Eagles merged what was left of their two professional football teams into one team, the Steagles, to play other scrapped together clubs. And so it was that athletics, although subpar, continued as a major and maybe the major stress reliever of the war years, just as it had been during the Great Depression in the 1930s. 
Not no history thumbnail sketch aside, let's talk seniors. We're going to miss our seniors and the excitement they have brought to us on the field of play. We're missing for the growth they've shown as their skills, both athletic and leadership, have seasoned over the years. But we will miss them most of all because of who they are. As the years roll on, there'll be many occasions where when two or three of you seniors are together, let alone the class reunions where all 62 will assemble, the talk will eventually get around the SCA and sports. You may not be able to record your one loss record or which teams you played against, but the glue, the magnet that seems to hold all sports fans together will certainly be present. Humor. It may be something one of you said or did or something an official or opposing player said. Maybe it wasn't intended at the time to be humorous at all, but now surely is. Maybe it was something your coach did or said. Maybe it was a nickname teammates uttered only when they were by themselves. Could have been the locker room incident. But when it all comes back to the sunshine, then the giggles, the laughter, and the memories will roll. And maybe a tear or two. So long, seniors. Come back soon. We love you. Returning athletes, get ready for next season. We love you, too. God bless. I would like to recognize three young ladies who have dedicated themselves to their sports and excelled at a level that few are able to reach. Through an immense amount of perseverance and desire, Shelby Lorenzo, Kyla Bercy, and Eileen Zavala will be continuing their athletics careers at the next level as they have signed papers to play in college. Shelby will run cross country and track at Rose College. Kyla will play golf also at Rose College and Eileen will join the volleyball team at UNC Charlotte. Congratulations to these ladies on such a tremendous honor. Thank you for representing the Scarab Nation so well over the past four years. We look forward to watching your career continue at the next level. The Good Shepherd Award. In addition to recognizing our athletes, each year we have to recognize a parent or set of parents that have been a tremendous asset to the athletics department program during their time at St. Cecilia. This year, the award goes to a couple that have put two daughters through St. Cecilia, giving them eight years to be a part of our community and giving us eight years to benefit from their presence. This year, the Good Shepherd Award goes to Kay and Jack Goodrum. On behalf of the athletics department, I would like to thank you both for all you've done during your time here with us. The countless hours you spent volunteering your time by keeping the scorebook at basketball games, setting up for senior night dinners, bringing snacks for the team before a game, and cheering the entire team on from the stands, home or away, no matter what the sport was. You are valued and cherished members of the Scared Nation, and we appreciate all you've done to support this program over the years. Thank you so much to Kay and Jack for and congratulations. The Scholar Athlete of the Year Award is presented to the student athlete with the highest GPA overall. She is a student who exhibits not only skill in sports, but also continues to excel in the classroom. In addition, she must have participated in at least two athletic programs during the current academic year. In addition to dedicating herself to her sports, this year's scholar athlete has involved herself in a very challenging academic workload. She is taking four AP classes this year, as well as serving as an ambassador and a member of the Service Club, Student Council, and National Honor Society. Quite an impressive collection of activities. And just to eliminate her academic skill even further, just last Friday, she earned the recognition of being the salutatorian of the class of 2020. The 2019-2020 Scholar Athlete of the Year is Shelby Lorenzo. Congratulations, Shelby, on this tremendous accomplishment. The Tri-Sport Athlete Award. Each year, we recognize any athlete that has played a sport each season of each year she has been at St. Cecilia. It is 12 seasons of athletics, and often the seasons overlap, so there's literally no rest or break as they switch from one sport to another. With the challenging academic load that a St. Cecilia, Cecilia student takes on, this is no easy feat. It demands balance, dedication, and a pure love for what she does. 
This year, the Tri-Sport Award goes to two wonderful young ladies. I'd like to recognize and thank Kate Goodrum and Rosie Robinson for their outstanding contribution, commitment, and leadership over the last four years. Both of you have had a tremendous impact on the teams which with you played, and your absence will be truly missed next year. Thank you and congratulations, Kate and Rosie. The Megan Whaley Athlete of the Year Award. Each year, one student is named the Megan Whaley Athlete of the Year in recognition of her outstanding performance, leadership, and dedication to the St. Cecilia Academy Athletics Program. The award is named in memory of Megan Elizabeth Whaley, who was a recipient of the Athlete of the Year Award in 2002. The selection process for this year's Megan Whaley Athlete of the Year was not an easy one. Not only do we have a, quite a collection of high caliber athletes, but we have a collection of student athletes whose leadership, teamwork, and personality mirror the Megan Whaley that we hear about from so many people. This year's recipient demands excellence of herself both in the classroom and out. She leads by example and is the first one to arrive and the last one to lead at both practices and competitions. She's a loyal teammate and a friend who carries herself with dignity and respect. In this era of athletic specialization, she has managed to play three sports at SCA and excel at all of them. It's truly been a pleasure to watch this young lady grow during her time here at SCA. Her tenacious grit and determination is always evident when she takes the field, the court, or the track. She's never one to back down from a challenge and is always willing to take on the other team's best player. With a fierce competitive energy, she makes sure that they will remember her once the game is over. When asked about this athlete, her basketball coach said, she was a proven leader for our basketball team, which was evident by she being voted team captain by her peers. While she led many statistical categories, it was her positive attitude, consistency, and work ethic that brought her and our team success. She's a highly talented basketball player and a great athlete who had a tremendous impact on our season this year. I've personally had the joy of coaching, my, coaching her myself on the track, and I can always count on her to lay it all on the line and give everything she had to succeed. Just take one look at her face when she crosses the finish line in a 400. She's pale, but red cheeks from exertion, trying desperately to catch her breath, squeezing her eyes shut repeatedly, and almost stumbling around as if she forgot where she was. It's very clear that she left everything she had on the track and held nothing back. Additionally, as hard as she ran, she always supports her teammate with equal effort. She's always willing to help out and cheer someone else on. She helps out so much that we nicknamed her the Chalk Master because she's always carrying chalk to the field for the field event girls before practice and at meets. I feel this athlete truly embodies what it means to be a St. City athlete. The winner of the Megan Whaley Athlete of the Year for the 2019-2020 school year is Kate Goodman. Congratulations, Kate, and thank you so much for your valuable contributions over the years.